Okay, time for an unboxing. So this is from Perfect Circuit. I already opened the box, but I haven't looked at it yet. Stickers, Skittles, paper, ooh, neat box. This is from the company Maelstrom, and it's called the Mandrake. Does anybody else think of the defunct ride at Epcot? Probably just me. Um, anyway, I actually won this module from a drawing at Perfect Circuit, so I thought today we would open it up, put it in the case, and try it out and make some patches and stuff. I already made a spot for it, so let's get this going. Probably need to clean up some spaghetti first. Okay, let's take a look at what it looks like. We've got a Maelstrom sticker. Maelstrom? I'm not sure how you say it. Another sticker. A uh, card thingy about downloading the manual. And let's see. Looks like power cable, some screws. And here it is. One handed, here we go. I don't drop it. Oh my gosh, it's well wrapped. Oh yeah. Look at this. That looks cool. So the Mandrake is a kick drum designer sort of thing, but it's also got volt per octave input, so you can play it too with pitch and stuff. So it is going to go right here. Looks like I made enough room and then we'll see what it sounds like. All right, so now we're going to look at the Mandrake. I've got it all racked up. Um, I've got a trigger input from my Erica Synth drum sequencer and I just have the output going into my mixer. Uh, everything's dry, the compressor's off and everything, so we can hear what it sounds like. So, um, let's just go through the controls. I've got the manual here in front of me, so uh, we can uh, figure out what everything does. So the trig input does as you expect, and also the button next to it triggers it. Just like that. And then there's an output knob. Um, the interesting thing is the accent switch. Um, if it's set up, it is the accent CV input is used to control trigger accents and the trigger input to f trigger non accents. See, note sending a trigger to the access input does not require a trigger in the trigger input. So it's kind of like uh, when it's up, it's you can like trigger two different things. And when it's down, um, the access accent input um, just changes the level like you'd kind of expect. So I'll try that out later. Um, so then let's see, if up on the left side of it, we've got hit, short transient at the beginning. So that's kind of the hit of it. I'm, I've got a little sequence here. I'll just hit play. I'll mess around with it. So that's with hit turned all the way down. So it kind of removes the click at the beginning, I guess. Okay, moving on. Um, those both have uh, CV inputs also. Um, so then you got the body of the drum. So frequency is what you'd think. Let's leave it somewhere in the middle. That's got control over it, uh, of course. The volt per octave input. Uh, we'll try that out later too. And then Okay, so the first slider is pitch decay and the other one is pitch mod. So uh, it does stuff like this, you can tell. So you can do those pitch drop kind of things probably make it sound like disco toms if you wanted to. For example. 
Okay, so next up, um, it's got like a saturation and a resonance um, up at the top left, which is pretty interesting. Um, saturation's like at half right now, but I'll play around with it and see and hear what it does. I mean, it, it saturates it like you expect, kind of like going through an overdrive or something. resonance to it. Surprise there, right? Okay, so lastly, um, on the right side, you got the shape knob. And the um, dampening, which sort of like is decay, kind of. Sort of like decay, it, it kind of depends where the dampening knob is. I'm not going to get too detailed here because other people have already done that. Um, and those both have CV, it looks like. Yep. So um, I'm just going to play with it a little bit more, and then I thought I'd put together a few patches, trying out the various functions of it. So yeah, enjoy. All right, this first patch I got set up, um, I'm using the accent input on the Mandrake. Um, also, I'll put in some CV into the decay input partway through, and then I've got some other percussion from the Erica Synths techno system and some bass coming from the Look, Mem Look Memno computer modules. So here goes, let's jam a little bit on it.
Okay, so for this patch, I'm using the Volt Per Octave input on the Mandrake um, and making it more into like a bass line slash kick drum, kind of 808 style-ish sort of thing. Um, I've also got some drums coming from the tip top 808 modules that I'll play around with and then some arpeggiator coming from the Pittsburgh, mo Pittsburgh Modular Taiga. Um, I'll play around with this a bit and then show you one other thing with it. Here goes. There you go. So it works really well as a tuned bass. Um, I just basically plugged it into my tuner, um, hit some notes, and then got the frequency knob in tune. And I was just transposing it with um, the MIDI feeding into the um, Erica Sense Black Sequencer. Um, the other thing I was going to show you was this um, accent input I was speaking of before. This is pretty cool. So when it's in the down position, um, it just sounds like it sounds. Here, let me turn on the sequence again and we can check it out. All right, so it just, nothing's different, right? But as soon as I plug a cable into it, it goes silent. That's because um, in the down mode, it's, it's true accent sort of input. It's waiting on a voltage a separate voltage to adjust the VCA. So if I plug it into this um, right here, and then this knob is adjusting basically the volume of it. So this you would feed like a separate accent into it with um, a different voltage to, you know, add accent and that sort of thing. The other mode, um, you'd actually can feed it a separate trigger or something else for that matter, but it kind of makes a different uh, tone. Or you could use a, a gate to gate the input. So whatever. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. And the other thing I didn't mention was the clean knob. It basically puts a, a filter on, on it to get rid of some of the super low stuff. And the shape button. You can read more about it. Um, so basically, Maelstrom has a really good demo of how it all works and everything. Um, so if you're more interested in that sort of stuff, I'd definitely watch that. I think that's all I'm going to show you today. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you liked it. And thank you, Perfect Circuit, for the giveaway and me being the lucky winner. That's a really cool drum module. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. 
So once again, thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.